Hello my dear friends assalamu alaikum and welcome back to lesson for you dear friends as we are discussing about the abdominal regions so in the previous two lectures i have recorded about the organs which are present in the right hypochondriac region as you can see here and then we recorded about the organs of the left hypochondriac region that were here uh, if you want to know about all those you can go and watch those lectures i will give the links in the description of this video now I'm going to discuss about the organs which are present in the epigastric region, right? About these regions in the first video while I started about the discussion on the uh, abdominal regions, I have introduced all these important regions and all these lines that how do we draw these lines and which parts of the abdomen and which parts of the upper to down, right? So I have already recorded about them. I will give the links of these videos in the description you can go and watch. Now we are going to discuss about the organs of the uh, epigastric region, right? So this region is our epigastric regions. Let us take it here, right? This is our epi, epi means above, gaster means stomach, so epigastric region. done so what are the organs which are present in the epigastric region so first of all we should know that in the epigastric region there are some organs which play their role in the digestion of food so we say that the first group of organs which are found here may be the digestive organs digestive organs so what what digestive organs are found in your epigastric region so look my dear friends First thing that you have look, this is our esophagus, right? And this esophagus now entered to the cross the uh, diaphragm and then enter to the abdominal cavity. So esophagus is present in the uh, epigastric region. So the first important thing that is found there is called the esophagus, right? Not all the esophagus look. Uh, about 70% part of the esophagus is lying in the thoracic cavity, right? So very little and lower part of the esophagus is present in the, thora in the epigastric region. Okay, it plays its role in the digestion, not in the digestion, but we say that it is a tube of digestive system, right? Then you can see there is your stomach, right? So stomach is found in the epigastric region and it has a very important role in the digestion of food so stomach is found that's the the second thing which is present in the uh, epigastric region regarding the digestion the digestive organs that is stomach then you have look carefully you have your liver also here so some part of the liver is also present in the epigastric region if you want to examine a patient you have to be careful that which organ is found in the epigastric region if patient has a complaint of epigastric pain then what sh where should your mind go that which organ the problem will be in which organ and which organ and which organ right if a patient has a problem of GERD gastroesophageal reflux disease right so he will feel pain in the epigastric region if a patient has a gastritis problem right he will feel pain in the uh, uh, yeah epigastric region right so in order to locate the pen in order to find the location of the pen you have to know about the organs which are present in different regions of the abdomen that's why we we divide the abdomen into different regions right so liver is found uh, as a digestive organ liver is found there the next organ that we can see there look this is our pancreas you can see this blue line that i have drawn Right. So pancreas is found in the epigastric region and pancreas plays its role in the uh, digestion of food by releasing certain enzymes. Right. So we say that pancreas is found there which has a digestive role also. Right friends. The next important thing that is found there you can see some part of the small intestine is also present there. So we say some part of small intestine. And parts of the small intestine is also found in the epigastric region and then we should not forget our friend our beloved friend 
yeah transverse colon which is present there so we say that transverse colon is also found in the epigastric region so transverse colon it is also found in the epigastric region friends right then we have the next group of organs which we can see in the epigastric region that is the endocrine organs endocrine organs what endocrine organs are found in the epigastric region look carefully my dear friends first of all the thing you should not forget is the pancreas look pancreas plays its very important role in the endocrine system by releasing certain hormones right so pancreas is present in the epigastric region that's why we say the endocrine organs which are present in the epigastric region the first of all is our friend pancreas right then the next thing you can see we have suprarenal glands right we have suprarenal glands or adrenal glands so these adrenal glands are also you can see if you follow my marker this is our kidney and above the kidney we have the suprarenal glands like this so as our kidneys are located like this right these are the kidneys and these are the upper pools of the kidney and here we have suprarenal glands so suprarenal glands are present in the epigastric region okay friends so then there is the right and left adrenal glands so i will short write as adrenal adrenal glands so adrenal glands are found in the epigastric region which plays their role in the uh, in the endocrine system right then we have if you see my dear friend some parts of the kidneys also found there in the epigastric region look at this some parts of our kidneys also found there so we say that kidney and kidney plays its role in the endocrine activity by releasing certain hormones which regulate the blood synthesis which regulate the uh, blood pressure of the body right you know that so endocrine organs are also found in the epigastric region then we say that are there any <coughs> excretory organs in the epigastric region excretory organs of uh, in epigastric region so yes we know that the the kidneys you can see some parts of the kidneys are found in the epigastric region so kidneys not all parts of the kidney some parts of the kidneys are found in the epigastric region which plays their role in the excretion of different substances while doing osmoregulation so kidneys are there then the fourth group of organs that we say that are there any one of them the reproductive organs no friends we don't found any reproductive organs reproductive organs we do not find any reproductive organ in the epigastric region so we say none none of the none of the reproductive organs are present there right then the last thing that we should know is called the lymphatics are there any lymphatics found lymphatic organ lymphatic organ are there any lymphatic organ found in the epigastric region yes friends look carefully we have our friend spleen so look some parts of the spleen is found in the epigastric region and more parts of it is found in the left hypochondric region so some part of the spleen is present there that's why we say that spleen is found in the epigastric region right so we should not forget that spleen is also present in the epigastric region some parts of it there so these were the one two three four and five groups of organs which can be found in the epigastric region so we have recorded about the upper three regions superior most three regions of the abdomen the right hypochondric the is epigastric and the left hypochondric region now inshallah we will go further to the middle part to the middle uh, three regions that is left lumbar right lumbar uh, umbilical region and left lumbar region what organs are found there so see you in the next lecture till then allah hafiz